Well, hello, sunshine. And how are you today? As you can see, I'm absolutely wonderful. Soaking up the sunshine out here on a nice brisk day. Glad that it's no rain. Glad that it's no snow. So how are you? I hope you're all doing well. We have a treat today. We have a sponsored Timu haul. Now this Timu haul is a special haul. We are going to give the birds a fountain. Oh yes we are. A fountain I say. And we're going to talk a little bit about soil and getting those seeds ready to soon germinate and plant to get them ready in a couple months to be going outside. So if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you're an existing subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and spending time with me. I do enjoy all the time that we spend together. As you know, this channel does all kinds of things. And today, we are going to take care of the birds. So, like I said, this is a sponsored Timu haul. For those of you that don't know about Timu, it's an online marketplace. They have thousands and thousands of vendors. And these vendors are all in competition with each other. So therefore, we get the best prices. That's why we get our price adjustments and all those good deals. So remember to check your price adjustments. And if you see something on Timu that you like, go ahead and get it. Try it out. Timu has a wonderful 90-day refund policy. Now, I am a Timu affiliate. You'll see my link and my Timu code in the description box below. So click on that. Give me some credit. Let me know that you like what I'm showing. Now the description box at the bottom will have the link to everything I show you today as well as all the prices. So I'm going to get my Timu bag and we're going to get started. So let me get my bag over here and we're going to open it up. I got goodies. I got goodies. Now. One thing I did open up early because it's solar power. So I wanted to open it up and charge it in the sun. But the first thing, yes, welcome to my deck. <laughs> welcome to my deck. Soon you're going to know every room in my house. You've been in my garage, my dining room, my office, <laughs> my bedroom, <laughs> my kitchen. <laughs> so. I'll just have to give you the whole brand tour one day and show you all the Timu things in my house. All right, let me set this over here in the chair. Now, the first thing we're gonna pull out I'm gonna try to pull out. Look at this. Now this is so unique. Now I have bird baths. I have a bird bath in my front yard in my garden. But this is a unique bird bath. Now I know you're saying, well, it's a little small. But let me tell you what this bird bath is made for. This bird bath is made for my back deck. Now, we're gonna have to figure this out. But as you know on this channel, we always figure out things together. So, and yes, you know I clean up my trash afterwards. Look at this. Beautiful flower detail in here. Isn't that pretty? This is nice, heavy-duty plastic. This is not going to mildew. This is not going to stain. This is thick. It's not going to crack. So when we still get those cold days where we get ice in it and it freezes, I am not worried about this cracking. Now, if you'll look under this back side, you'll notice we've got a screw that has a clamp on it, which I'm going to have to unscrew. <laughs> so we're going to unscrew this clamp. And I'm going to show you what this clamp is for. Now, you've got heavy-duty metal bracing underneath here. Now I'm going to unscrew this 
because I'm not so sure how far. Hold on, I gotta put you on hold for a second. Sorry about that. I had a delivery. They just brought me a Timu package and I had to put Trixie in the house. So, where were we? We were here. I'm opening the clamp up. So, I had this big gap. Now, you're asking me, why does it have a clamp and a big gap? Because this bird bath clamps on the rail of your deck. So, come on over. I'm going to move the camera over so you can get a closer view. And let's get this thing clamped on. I'm going to put it here over my little case. I'm going to place it right up here in the center. What do you think? I like it there? And now I'm going to screw this on. And hold it here. And I'm going to screw it back on. Y'all know I unscrewed it a lot. So I'm going to have to screw it back up a lot. But I wasn't sure how far. Unscrew it. Unscrew it. Now it's starting to get tight. It's starting to get tight on us. We want to make sure it has a good, strong hold. We don't want a bird to fall out. We wouldn't want a bird to fall out, would we? Alright, while I'm screwing, I'm going to move this camera angle so y'all can get a better view. There you go. That way, you don't have to look at my back. You don't want to look at my back. So how is everybody today? Is it sunny where you are? I hope you're having nice weather. I hope you are. We've got a whole week of nice weather. All right, it's getting tight now. We don't have rain in the forecast for a whole week. Okay. All right. We've got this on good and tight. It's not going anywhere. Now, we have in this little box a solar-powered fountain. Now, I have it laying over here on the guardrail because I wanted it to charge in the sun so we could try it out. So, let me sneak over here and get it real quick. Whoops, I think I turned it on. All right. So this is what it is. I did turn it on. Oh, it came on. All right, now. Let's open the box. Because the box comes with several different little heads for our fountain. So let's see what the different heads are. And what we want to do with our fountain. All right, got a little spacer here. Spacer goes right in here. Okay. Or does it go there and then go there? All right. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me see if I can get this off. Let's Trixie. Come here, baby. Let's see what we got here. Trixie, come here. Trixie. 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 Trixie.
say, get up here. All right. Let's see what we got. I think I'm gonna need instructions on this. All right. Okay, that's in. Now it says put this little piece here. Okay. That says Okay, that's there. All right, so now we lock down one of these cones. So what kind of fountain do we want? I think for the birds, we should give them a gentle mist. What do you think? A gentle mist. So we're gonna put this on and lock it down. All right. So it's in there. Now I've got some water. Let's see if we have a fountain. Trixie, come here. I think it's got to come up to prime. It's trying to squirt. Trixie, come here. Trixie, Trixie. I'm here. Be a good girl. Look. You see it? There we go. It's priming. Look what we have. We have a little floating fountain. Uh-oh. There we go. It's all primed. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, while this is floating, the solar panels that are on top of it are still going to charge from the sun. Oh, the birds are going to love this. The birds are going to love this. What do you think, Trixie? Are the birds going to love this? Look at this. Isn't this nice? Oh, my goodness. The wind's blowing. It's a little breezy today. Oh, I love this. This is absolutely beautiful. I love it. Right over my little table. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so peaceful. Are you like me? Does just the sound of rippling water just soothe you, relax you? I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. So all you have to do is keep water in it. The sun's going to keep it charged. If the wind doesn't blow it away. The cool beans. I like this. I'm telling you, if you want it, Timu's got it. I can't wait to look out my kitchen window and see some birds. Because you know, in wintertime, it's hard for them to find water. Especially when we've got a whole week of no rain. So, yeah, they're really gonna enjoy that. Now, let's grab our little Timu bag, because we've still got goodies in it. And let's come over here. Let me back you up a little bit. Because this is my favorite pot. This is the pot that I always grow my flames in, my red flames. So, I was looking on Timu, and I always put my red flames in here. And sometimes I mix it with potting soil and mix it with fertilizer and this and that. But I ran across this. It's a little soil tester. So I said, well, let me pick up this soil tester. Let's see how good this soil is. Never used one, so we're gonna do this together. So, it measures moisture content of soil, which we really don't need to worry about right now. But, 
instructions. We need instructions. I need instructions. Push, switch to the left. Left. Okay. Put it in the soil. All right. The soil's good and soft. All right. And the meter's going to start reading. Oh, the meter's already moving. Now let's see. It gives you a whole range here of all different kinds of plants and what their levels should be. Levels of water and levels of pH. So this is a cheat sheet that I'm gonna have to keep because I can use this in all my pots and in my soil. Oh, it's got azaleas. I can use that for my azaleas. Begonias, we do a lot of begonias. Coleus, oh my goodness, I love coleus. All right, so let's see where we are. Let's see where we are. We are at moisture contact is a two. So let me find something close to my flames. All right, it's supposed to be a four, but that's okay. That's okay for right now, isn't it? Yeah. Now, the pH level is supposed to be 500 to 2,000. That's a big range, isn't it? 500 to 2,000? And I am 500. So this is telling me that my soil is good. And this also has a light meter on it, which right now it's getting the sun, so it tells me it's perfect. So basically, once my seedlings come, I'm not gonna have to do anything to that soil except water it. And I would have probably over fertilized it if I wouldn't have had that tester. So this little tester, is definitely coming in handy. I like this. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. But, as long as we're talking about soil and having seedlings, something I recommend on TV, especially for somebody like me that has nails, and wants to keep the nails clean. Let's move the camera a little again so we can move over to the chair a little bit. Let's sit and talk. Let's sit and talk. How many of y'all are old school like me and take the tops of your plants and keep your seeds so you can plant them again next year? I do. I do only because those greenhouses are so expensive to buy plants. And so many of your plants have seeds that you can save for the following year. Well, look at these. These are gardening gloves. They've got the rubber handles, and these even come with the claws to get in the dirt. Look at these. And these fit very well. They've got the tight elastic wrist. Now, when I say tight, I'm not talking too tight to cut off your circulation, but good and tight. Look at that rubber. Keep the dirt and mud off your hand. And I'm gonna show you with long nails how you can still put on these gloves and use them. Look at this. Look how comfortable that is. And y'all know my nails are long. And y'all know I love nails but I don't like it dirt in them. No, no, no. No, no, no. And these little claws are gonna help you when you're raking the trig. See, come here, baby. When you're raking the dirt away and you're spreading it back out, these little things are gonna help you. And you try buying these at a garden center. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen for the price you can get them on t -Moon. Now, my flame seeds are in a Ziploc bag, opened, just a little bit, 
to let air get them so they could dry out real good in the shelf in the garage. But look at these little starter trays they have on Timu. Trixie's just going crazy. A delivery driver making all these deliveries around the neighborhood. But you get your starter tray. You get the bottom tray, the bottom to hold water. There's holes in here. So you don't over flood your seeds because you don't want to drown the seed. You drown the seed, the seed's going to rot. So you have your tray here. Now, Trixie, come here, baby. She's just not listening. So you have your tray in here. Now this top, what I like about this, it's got the clear top, but look, it's got this on it. So you snap this on and you can control the humidity that gets in here. You can close it, close it, or open it to control the humidity of your seedlings while they're growing. I mean, this is a wonderful little incubator for your seeds. Look at that. Wonderful. Timu has them bigger. This will hold 12 little plants. And that's what I start with for this pot and my other pots. So I have several of these. But for anybody that wants to start their gardening, I usually start my seeds at the beginning of March, end of February, because it takes them quite a few weeks to get big enough to put outside. So the end of February is when I start my seeds. So I'll be starting them this month to get them all ready to go outside. So it's exciting. So look at those gardening things. Check the description box. Check on the links as Trixie walks across the deck and shakes the whole deck. <laughs> but check out the links. Check out the soil tester. You might save your money with fertilizers and plant foods and things like that. Your soil may be good already. Or you may find out your azaleas need a little bit of lime. You never know. And you wanna do that lime early. So you'll have beautiful flowers in spring. And we've got water for the birds, a sprinkler for the birds. So I hope you enjoyed those few little gardening tidbits from Timu and me. And I hope you enjoy my channel. And I hope you keep coming back. My next video will be a huge Timu haul coming up. So, if you enjoyed, please hit that like and subscribe and give me some comments. Let me know how you do your gardening, how you save your seeds from year to year. But remember, the most important thing is to have a blessed day.